Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. My name is Alex and today we're going to talk about new features of Adobe Illustrator 2018. 30 years is the second youth. It's so true for Adobe Illustrator. This year you would enjoy the new more smooth experiences like never before. I test this version with the common and most demanded tasks such as 3D. They are running amazingly fast and almost instantly. I even thought to redesign some of my previous tutorials in this version of Adobe Illustrator. Another feature is a new interface. If you go to the right uh, region of uh, Adobe Illustrator, you will see the uh, new panel. It's called Properties and it's Mind Reading Panel because it gives you what you need, when you need, where you need. For example, if I select the text, it will give me a character panel and then I can expand it to obtain the full control over my text. If I select the shape, it will give me the shape properties and um, including this quick action to uh, really uh, customize my shape. For example, I can uh, offset the path uh, with my, within uh, this uh, properties panel or I can click on this uh, further control for these three dots and control the number of sides, a rotation angle, a radius and a corner radius uh, within this properties uh, panel and if nothing is selected you can control the artboard uh, you can resize it crop your artboard of course it will give you also uh, some options such as uh, rulers and grid uh, uh, transparency grid uh, you can lock the guides within this uh, different snapping options and some of the preferences and of course uh, for more control you can uh, always open their preferences uh, dialog box. New version of Adobe Illustrator also brought us a new uh, tool. It's called uh, Puppet Wrap Tool and it can be used to slightly control the shape angle of your design. For example, if I place the node here, now I can drag this node and reshape my character. It will be a very useful tool. For example, if you create a motion graphic assets such as Sprite. Another feature of the new version is uh, special typefaces. Uh, there are only two of them. First is the drawing color. Uh, it has a mixed appearance. It contains um, unique gradients and solid color that gives us this uh, gold and ancient look. Another typeface uh, has, uh, I think, uh, a bit more uh, practical applications. Uh, it calls Emoji One and it uh, allows you to create emojis as a typeface. So you can control emojis uh, like a typeface, setting the uh, font weight, uh, font uh, size, and then control the line spacing of these emojis and so on. So to start with the emoji one, you need to place your cursor and then go to the emoji one, select this typeface, uh, look to all the glyphs, select your glyphs and double click on it to start in issue your emojis. Very easy and very straightforward. When you uh, stop uh, issuing your emojis, uh, you can control the properties within the character panel. And the last feature that we have uh, in uh, 2018 is very straightforward. It's a future of typography called variable font. The concept is simple. It allows you to create a dozens of variation within single typeface. There are only six of them in a moment in Adobe Illustrator. Acumen variable concept, minion variable, myriad variable, source code variable, source sans variable and source serif variable. Two of them are serifs. To assess the variable features, you need to first expand your character panel, clicking on these three dots on the bottom right. Then go to this icon called variable font on the right side. Click on them and now you can control the weight of this font, width of this font and slant. 
not all of these uh, typefaces supports all these three features. For example, SAS series variable supports only weight. So guys, this is the end of this video. I want to thank you for your attention. If I miss something, please let me know in the comments from below. Don't forget to visit vitorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.